Don here with Air Guns of Arizona. Today we're going to be discussing a little maintenance on the Delta Wolf. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the barrel, we're going to clean the barrel. I'm going to show you how to clean the inside of where the chronograph is because you get blowback, a lot of lead debris in there. Wipe that down. How to check to make sure your chronograph's on. There's like a little LED on the circuit board. And then when we get done cleaning the barrel, I'm going to show you how we clean the chronographs. It's just about keeping the performance and the gun shooting accurately. So, first thing, move the barrel. Back the screw out, pull the barrel straight out the front. I'm gonna set the gun down. If you notice on the bottom of the barrel, there's gonna be two set screws. Remove those two set screws. They don't have to be tight, they just have to butt up snug. The factory had them a little tight. This is a brand new rifle. And you pull the shroud straight off the front. This is the chronograph. This is a, a newer style chronograph. Some of the original Delta Wolves had a little shorter chronograph system in them. It's the same unit, they just had making a different module it fits in now. Some of the rifles will let up. And uh, the way we like to remove it is just put a little bit of solvent. In other words, I'll put a puddle of solvent on, on the table. I'm not gonna do it on this beautiful bench. And I'll just roll the brush in it and just get a little bit of solvent on it because I don't want a lot of solvent going inside uh, the chronograph. Put it on the tip of your cleaning rod. We're going to do this one dry because it's not necessary, it's a brand new barrel. And we use a nylon brush. And generally I would remove the O-rings on this, but I actually have a, another one to replace it with when we're done. The breech O-ring that is. And uh, on your specific caliber, you can just dig it out of there very carefully with a small pointed awl or something or a needle and then just gently put it back in. Don't don't cut the o-ring or have a spare and put a new one in. Either way. I would clean the barrel every, oh I don't know, 500 rounds or if you find your accuracy falling off, do it then. But it's it's not necessary to scrub the heck out of your barrel. The nylon brush is not going to be abrasive. It's going to between the little bit of friction with that and the and the solvent. It's gonna clean it right up. And then uh, we get done brushing a barrel. And I'll usually do about 10 round trips with the nylon brush after I wet it once. Then I'll run a jag on here and put a dry patch on it. And run the patch through. Then the last thing I'll do is I clean the chronograph. And inside the chronograph, the center section, the muzzle ends about right here on the rifle. In the center section of the chronograph, there's a clear, it's acrylic of some kind tube. And you do not want to get any acetone. We, we basically trust this stuff. It works really well and I, we don't damage the chronograph. You don't want to scratch it. If you do anything to it, it's just going to affect the quality of the, the reading. So what we'd like to do, I take a little of the solvent and just put a little bit on a patch. And we're going to have a kit available that actually have the solvent, the patches, the mop, and the handle. And I stick it in there and turn it clockwise because that keeps the brush or the mop tight on the handle. If I turned it counterclockwise, it actually could untwist it. I didn't have a dirty barrel, believe it or not. That's why I have a new gun to show you and demonstrate. But that's as easy as it is to keep your chronograph and your barrel clean. Um, what I'm going to do is reassemble the barrel and the rifle before I put the shroud on it. And when you reinstall the barrel, you're going to notice 
there's a small hump on the back of this and you want to keep that at 12 o'clock and slowly bring it back it will align with the three pins bring it back and let it touch just snug your barrel up now the next thing some of these are timed at different places so I'm going to rotate the rifle so you can see it there's the chronograph when you turn the switch on to fire see the red light that came on that verifies your chronograph is getting signal through the connection so if you're not seeing a red light when you turn the turn the switch on to fire there's an issue either you don't have a poor connection or possibly a chronograph's bad in which case it would have to come back to air guns of arizona for repair and the other thing to do while we have the rifle apart doesn't necessarily have to be assembled back in here it's clean gently wiped down because you're going to find if you shoot it a lot there's going to be a lot of lead debris in here just gently wipe it down. You don't want to pull on the wires. They're very small, fine wires, as you can imagine. And the circuit board, they can get black as well. The other thing you can do, and you have to be very careful about, if you find that uh, you have really shot the rifle a considerable amount and didn't clean it, if you'll notice on the sides of the circuit board, that's where the sky screens are. That's what's reading the, the pellet passing through the clear tube. So they're clear on the outside, obviously, as well. That's so the eyes can read them. So there's three O-rings that contain the chronograph. We're going to take the chronograph out, and I'm going to show you the little windows I'm talking about. You can probably see them. They're right here, and they're on both sides. So gently lift the O-rings off. And I'm, a, I'm kind of behind and above the circuit board. Looks like I'm stabbing it, but I'm really not. You know O-rings, they stamp in everything that you don't want them to. So we have the three O-rings removed, although there are an o, there's an O-ring in the front here, in the back, and that's to keep debris out of the chronograph. Three, these three O-rings actually hold the chronograph in place. So carefully, just get under the front and the back and lift it straight up. And you can see the four legs in the chronograph. You can see the windows on the side. And all I do is take the same AO waste um, cleaner and I put it on a Q-tip and then I'll just roll it on a napkin or something so it's not soaking wet and just wipe those down so when you look through it it's clean like it is now then carefully take the circuit board and you can remove this rear o-ring if you like roll it back and that will allow the chronograph assembly to come back a little easier You have that clean, everything's clean, and just reassemble it. Three O-rings are in position, the rear O-ring's back in position. Um, red light still comes on, we're good. Next thing, we'll remove the barrel again. Line up the two holes with the bottom of the chronograph, and be, be careful when you slide it back over and watch where the O-ring and the wiring goes underneath the O-ring, the harness there. And just be gentle when you push that over the top of that so you don't tear up anything that you're not supposed to. Reinsert the set screw. And the set screw is just there to keep the shifting. In other words, keep the, the, the uh, carbon fiber tube from going fore and aft because the, the pressure would blow the tube forward. All it is is locking it in place from shifting forward. It's not there as a, a tension device or anything like that. Gently slide it back in. Careful, watch your connection. Just slide it till it goes in there. And then the screw, when you tighten the screw, 
in the back to lock your barrel in position. It'll actually center it up because it was factory cal calibrated and installed so that the connection will self-align when the screw goes into the pocket in the barrel. Just snug that and you're ready to go. Just remember, clean your barrel first, clean your chronograph second, and this is how we take care and maintenance the guns that come in. And the other procedure is if you have a chronograph you think is you're having an issue with and it doesn't work, now you know how to take the shroud off, keep the debris out from underneath the shroud, and also check to see that the light, the LED light is on in your chronograph, that it's making good connection and working. And that's it. I thank you for watching and uh, enjoy your air rifle.